If you love to hike and explore the great outdoors, then this video is for you. In this video, we are going to take you on a tour of the Great Island Trail, which is widely regarded as one of the best hikes on Cape Cod. Some even say it's one of the best hikes in all of Massachusetts. With views of the Herring River, Wellfleet Harbour, roaming sand dunes, Cape Cod Bay and the spectacular shoreline, you're going to want to bring your camera for some of the best shots on the Cape. We made this video using our new iSteady mobile gimbal, gimbal? gimbal? and our trusty GoPro. I'll leave a link in the description so you can see all the gear we use to make our video and save money while we travel. This spectacular trail is located near the town of Wellfleet, which is a quaint town located halfway between the tip and elbow of Cape Cod. To get directions, we use the All Trails app, which I'll also leave a link in the description. The trail has its own parking, but it fills up fast even in the off season, which is when we visited. There is an area for overflow parking, but again, to avoid parking issues, just plan accordingly. The trail is a 4.7 mile heavily trafficked loop that also has an option for an 8 mile loop if you choose to venture out to the tavern site and hike out to the tip of Jeremy Point. There is not much to see at the tavern site, but it is a beautiful section if you're looking to add a couple more miles to your adventure. Something to note about this hike is that it is actually quite sandy. I would go as far as saying that 60-70% to 70 of the trail is on sand, so be sure to allow plenty of time. As you leave the parking lot, you will make your way through a beautiful forest before arriving at what's called the Gut, which is a stomach-shaped section of the Herring River. Like much of the trail, this section is open to the elements, so if it's a warm day, be sure to wear a hat and bring sun cream and plenty of water. Along this part of the trail, you will also see a couple of openings to take a quick detour to the beach. It's worth taking the extra few minutes just to take in some ocean breeze. Soon you will come to a fork in the trail and you will see a sign. If you plan on venturing out to the tavern site, take a left here. If you just plan on doing the 4.7 mile loop, stick to your right. I did a quick out and back towards the tavern site just to get some extra steps in but then continued on the loop trail which took me through the pitch pine forest which was lined with fallen pine needles. On a fresh day you will be able to enjoy the smell of the pine trees. You will now follow the trail all the way to the Great Beach Hill and Jeremy Point. I did not see a sign for the Great Beach Hill so unfortunately I missed out on this opportunity. I was too busy videoing when I should have been monitoring the map on my All Trails app. As with all good hikes, you need a reason to come back, right? As you continue on this hike, you quickly realise why people claim it to be one of the best hikes on Cape Cod. There is so much to see and it offers a variety of scenery. When I finally got to Jeremy Point, I climbed up a steep sand hill to the Jeremy Point lookout. Not sure if you've ever climbed a sandy hill, but wow, it was a serious leg workout. It was worth the pain though, as the panoramic views were simply magnificent. Before we finish our hike, if you're enjoying this video, we invite you to tap the like button and subscribe as it really helps our channel grow. After you hit the beach at Jeremy Point Lookout, it's a long straight stretch back towards the car. I decided to mix up my return hike by walking along the sand dunes before enjoying a peaceful walk along the beach. Just be sure to exit the beach once you're back near the gut and simply retrace your steps back to your car. If you are visiting Cape Cod, be sure to check out our Cape Cod mini-series showcasing some of the best towns to visit and some other fun things to explore. Until next time, happy hiking! I'll definitely class this as a moderate to difficult hike, um, obviously depending on your fitness levels. Walking on the sand can be quite a challenge, so I'm sure I'll be sore tomorrow morning.